we were just doing mixtures of two different elements, what would it look like if you had a mixture of two different compounds? So if you had, if you poured yourself a glass of soda, a key ingredient in soda is carbonated water. Well, all carbonated water is, it's a mixture of carbon dioxide and water. For those carbon dioxide molecules and those water molecules, we decided previously, here's our little color code of what the different color dots represent. So we're going to be drawing both carbon dioxide molecules Here's our carbon dioxide. In the same dish as our water molecules. But the water doesn't touch the carbon dioxide. One key way to tell the difference between a mixture and a compound is that mixtures tend to be relatively easy to separate. For example, that nickel and copper mixture, if you had a jar full of nickels and pennies, you could pretty easily separate the nickel from the copper. If you have carbon dioxide and water, if you've ever opened up a can of soda and left it out on the counter for too long, eventually the soda goes flat. The reason why that is, is because the carbon dioxide bubbles away, leaving just the water behind. It's really difficult to separate a compound. That's where people usually get the most confused. If something's a mixture or a compound, you can pretty easily separate the carbon dioxide from the water. That word and is a big tip off that the substance is a mixture. If something's a compound, there's no and. You're not something and something else, it's just water or just carbon dioxide. And if I asked you to separate the pure carbon from the pure oxygen, that would be really difficult. 